Good afternoon to all. Our next speaker is Dr. Sabha Manvi, Associate Professor, Sreha Chennai. She completed her UG from Annamalai University in 1997, PG in Industrial Pharmacy in Annamalai University in 1999, PhD from Sri Ramachandra University, Chennai in 2015. She has over 20 years of teaching and research experience. She has guided several UG, PG students and is a registered guide for PhD research scholars. She is, has many national and international publications in reputed journals to her credit and also reviewer in many journals. She has received many awards in her teaching career. She is a life member of several professional bodies like ATPI, Society of Pharmaceutical Dissolution Sciences, Antiviral Research Society, etc. She is a recipient of many research grants for extramural and intramural projects. She is an excellent speaker and enthusiastic researcher and passionate teacher. Welcome, you, ma'am. Thank you. Can I share my screen? Hello. Hello. Okay, ma'am. Can I share my screen? Yes, yes, ma'am. So, happy afternoon to all. Uh, can my voice is audible to you? Yes, ma'am, is it audible? Screen is, screen is visible. Screen is visible, ma'am. Thank you, thank you so much. Thanks for the given opportunity and having trust in me to invite to this forum to present before you virtually as resource person for the AACT sponsored FTP program 2021. Nice to be with you all virtually. Thank you, doctor, for your nice introduction. The duty of Toaster Master is to be so dull that the succeeding speakers will appear brilliant by contrast. Actually, this is a proverb, but it should happen vice versa in my case. I'm expecting that at the end of the presentation. With this quote, uh, slide is not meant to be. Uh, slide is moving, no? Hello? Slide is not moving, ma'am. <laughs> It's moving now, I think. Uh, since I'm presenting first time to Kerala state, I just want to begin my talk with well-known, popular, notable highlights of Kerala. Elephant procession in temple festival, like uh, Tirchur Puram, Badaganathan temple, uh, your uh, beautiful dance, Kathakali, fantastic scenery with coconut palm trees, and finally, boat race league in Kerala. So uh, the topic allotted to me is Teaching aids, use and overuse, PowerPoint or Blackboard. It is PowerPoint versus Blackboard or PowerPoint, Blackboard, etc. as a teaching aid, possibilities and drawbacks, in-campus and out-campus experiences. Uh, the, today is November 27. Uh, this is a lecture nine and the presentation goes till two, four o'clock. Uh, the learning outcome of this particular session is by the end of this session, you should be familiar with different types of teaching aids, able to understand teaching aids, able to know the importance of teaching aids, able to use the black or whiteboard effectively, able to choose the most appropriate audio visual aid for your purpose and contest, able to produce a basic presentation with MS PowerPoint. So as the COVID situation continues, resuming to normal training session is uncertain. Therefore, it is better to utilize these moments in an opportunity than waiting for everything to get normal. Education cannot be compromised for corona, finance, health issues, etc. Uh, et so how to be effective online and offline? That is digital and real-time learning. There is a lot of difference between online and offline teaching. So eye contact is more important even for school, monastery, college, training is needed. How to use latest technology? Uh, professional development that is pro dev concept is so important. That is traditional uh, teaching that is chalk and board, use of audiovisual aids, projectors, OHP pro projector. Some concern issued uh, issues with this traditional teaching is boring. So you, new initiatives in teaching has been 
taken to make it as effective and engaging that is active learning methods problem based learning case based learning simulation techniques service learning innovative in classroom teaching learning by teaching games collaborative teaching group discussions attending fdp fap congress interactions with other educators reading articles in pharma periodicals these are all few modern initiatives which has been taken by the educational institution to enhance the teaching uh, methodology those are all to catch up the students attention and not to distract with them with this introduction i'll just uh, move on to into my slides that is teaching aids these are the materials which is used by the teachers or the facilitators who is involved really in teaching including laboratory assistants uh, in the science labs of schools or colleges or pharmacy schools to help the learners to make them the uh, easily understandable uh, and teaching aids can enhance the reading writing and speaking skills of the students it should be a user friendly and interactive teaching aid should be used to remove the anxiety uh, from the student as well as from the teachers so teaching aid serves as a important tool uh, to enhance the learners so what is the difference between the teaching aid and the instructional materials so instructional aids are book chart board pictures and object as a globe map specimen device such as dvd or computer used by a teacher to enhance or enliven classroom uh, instructions there is a line of difference between teaching aid and the instructional materials uh, for example chalkboard and powerpoint is given to me this chalkboard is like uh, when a teacher goes to uh, chalk and board okay in the blackboard when a teacher writes uh, draw a uh, so burette stand and a burette and a conical flask explains about the standardization of acid base titration same thing when a teacher explains along with the burette as uh, uh, apparatus real burette he, he he or she has taken to the class along with the burette stand burette conical flask and explains about standardization of acid base titration or redox titration that becomes a teaching aid when she or explains in a chalk and board it is a instructional materials so this is there is Uh, just it's a thin line of difference that is when she explains in a board it is a instructional material when she explains as such in a real situation okay when she takes apparatus to the class and explains along with the apparatus then it becomes a teaching aid so this is a difference between the teaching aid and the instructional materials so a uh, few uh, teaching aids uh, the characteristics of the teaching aid must be it should be well prepared well presented relevant pertaining Uh, to the topic chapter subject of interest up to date consistent with local protocols readables uh, visible to all legible appropriate format for room and audience size so the teacher has to prepare uh, the uh, te uh, 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 the teaching aid has to be prepared properly in uh, relevant to the topic chapter subjects of interest and it should be up to date one suppose if a power powerpoint has been prepared for a class the basic information is 10 lines should be in the slide and uh, uh, few says that a few colors does not get attention that is blue color may not get attention even i have used blue color but it may not get an uh, attention okay so the cramping of so so many things into a small space into one slide will not make uh, the attention and uh, to study uh, it is a hard and learn a lot in a short time the font size if you use very less font size it is also uh, uh, cramps the slides so occupying so many things into your small space uh, and making the students to read in uh, that particular slide is very hard for the students to in a short time before the exams or commencement of the exam uh, when they prepare for a competitive exam so you have to uh, be present in a legible manner neatly manner uh, mistake should not be there and this is a need of teaching aids that is uh, uh, these are all few uh, eight points uh, which a teaching aid has to uh, keep okay so in the play a very important role in the teaching learning process that is uh, motivation clarification discouragement of cramping increases of vocabulary saves time and money classroom live and active avoid dullness direct experience so the teaching aid may motivate the students it clarify the doubts it avoids uh, uh, mistakes whatever you are doing 
and dullness really the students will be involved actively participating uh, with teachers in the class participative uh, participatory learning will be there and classroom will be very live and active you can save money and time uh, uh, by using teaching aid that teacher cannot stand before a board and she cannot write and direct experience uh, can be uh, adopted okay so uh, the, uh, look at this uh, popular saying okay so we remember 20% of what we hear we remember 30% of what we see we remember 50% of what we see and hear we remember 90% of what we say and do and old proverb also explains the same view i hear i forget i see i remember i do i understand seems that important for better teaching process a teacher should arrange different aids with the help of which he or she could make learning easy enjoyable and stable as a go it said knowing is not enough we must apply that is knowledge is not enough we must know how to apply our knowledge willing is not enough we must do it that is we should have a willing power but we have to practically utilize it okay so knowledge skill attitude or the three core domains of bloom's taxonomy that has to be adopted these three are the core competencies in pharmacy also so please connect knowledge skill attitude component in your thing and enhance the average retention rate of the students coming to the next slide that is categories of teaching uh, aids three categories of teaching aids uh, are uh, audio aids visual aids audio visual aids so audio aid is you have to connect to your ear visual aid is you have to connect to your eye audio visual ear aid is connecting to ear and eye okay it is linking connecting connect yourself connect your brain and heart connect your heart connect your eye connect your ear when you are uh, learning uh, from someone or when you are uh, uh, in in a learner stage so uh, next is this is based on the sense organ this category is based on the sense organ first one is audio aid as i said the aid that helps the sense of hearing that is it is connected to the ear this is called as audio aids for example radio tape recorder gramophone these are all few examples of audio aids next comes your visual aids this side which uses a sense of vision or called visual aids for example actual objects models pictures charts maps flash cards panel boards bulletin boards these are all few things of visual aids out of this blackboard and chalk or the commonest one and oldest uh, method of teaching aid which has been used in the class for so many years audio visual aids is a third category of the um, teaching aid that is the aid which involves both hearing as well as the vision is called as audio visual aid here comes your example film strips television overhead projectors etc uh, next what is the principal use of this teaching aid so the teacher should aware of what he is preparing and what uh, the students uh, how the students uh, will participate in the particular lecture and proper presentation how he is going to handle the situation and he has to check the whether the timely presentation is there he should avoid distraction and then protect the thing preserve before the class and he should not leak out the presentation early uh, and follow up that is whether the presentation is useful or not some feedback analysis evaluation is must when when you are teaching along with the aid Uh, suppose if it is a online teaching you just uh, it is not offline teaching uh, like offline teaching you cannot see the eye to eye contact sometimes video is on sometimes video is off okay so the evaluation the feedback analysis you yourself can ask from the students that whether they have learned properly or not whether the uh, session is interactive or not this can be um, uh, uh, you can get the feedback from the students as well as from the other teachers of the same category so you have different types of learner uh, uh, you have nine types of learner uh, visual learner uh, kinesthetic learner auditory learner stress learner ease learner scribble learner trust learner teach uh, learner copy learner so coming to the visual learner that is learn what they see so whatever they see they will learn kinesthetic learner whatever they can do they can learn auditory learner whatever they can hear they can learn stress whatever this the uh, you stresses them uh, they will learn from them ease that uh, learn what relaxes them 
scribble learn what they write out trust learn from outside experience enthusiasm something then teach learn from teaching copy learn what they can copy from others okay then coming to the uh, types of learning as i said you have active learning and passive learning um, active learning with teachers okay that is use of relevant activities and discussions like you have given some quizzes in the class kahoot for example use of a kahoot in a class okay you can make the students to actively participate in the class in the quiz okay uh, with teacher the passive is you can supervise or watch them while they are reading you have given some lecture uh, you make them to read and you will ask some question so you will supervise or watch them while they are re uh, reading there is no teaching aid involved in the passive whereas in the active the teaching aid is involved like quizzes kahoot learning as i said okay so without teacher Uh, the quiz you will be giving for as an assignment the next day they have to submit so uh, because you have done in the class the uh, students have actively participated in the quiz so they will uh, they'll be motivated to do without te teacher uh, for the uh, even for the homework in the next class okay so but passive learning it is unsupervised learning uh, the, if the student is interested they will be learning if the student is not interested they will not be learning so active learning is use of some aids passive learning is without aid so the uh, types of learning like you have active learning and passive learning now we can see the learning pyramid what is the average retention rate of the uh, learning pyramid so the 5% goes to lecture and 10% goes to reading 20% audio visual aids when you use audio visual aids in the classroom 20% retention rate of the students and demonstrate when you demonstrate something in the class that is 30% retention rate when you discuss group discussion something 50% and practice doing practical class less 75% when student really do school cream or vanishing cream when they uh, are doing some sections in the class or uh, standardization or potassium um, potassium permanganate titration something so 75% they are practically involved in doing some experiments in the class so 75% is the retention rate of the students and teach others when you really teach when a teacher teaches to the students one uh, we are earlier a student but now we become a teacher so when a teacher really teaches to the students they read more because they have to present before the uh, students something they have to give to the students so that when we present 100% to the students they will take only 60% from us only so uh, we have to be 100% we have to prepare so for this when you teach others 90% is the retention rate so lecture uh, comes 5% reading 10% audio visual 20% demonstration 30% this occupies passive learning process where most of the uh, teaching aids are not involved whereas active learning process Uh, the teaching aids are involved 50% 75% 90 90% 90 average retention rate is more so teaching aid plays a very important role here okay so uh, this is a difference between uh, passive learning and active learning in case of passive learning you have a poor retention uh, lower uh, order of thinking teacher centered uh, lower attention level student uh, uh, isolation emphasis on memorization whereas in the active learning uh, with the use of aids it is uh, our uh, participatory learning uh, group discussions something better retention higher order of thinking student centered uh, greater student attention students are involved encourages collaboration emphasis on process not on memorization okay so this is the main difference between passive learning and an active learning Uh, coming to the examples of passive learning you have assessment in the passive passive learning next comes your handouts uh, so in the passive learning you will be giving some assessment handouts to the students for example like a powerpoint slide handouts you will be giving so you you won't involve uh, yourself so they have to learn on their own so the retention rate will be very less when compared to the active learning like hands on labs that is Uh, practical labs when you are giving some hands on experience training how to handle a, a sophisticated instrument like ftir dse tga etc then comes your group problems you you will be uh, you will be giving some problems which they can discuss in group and they can present before you as a powerpoint sorry uh, peer uh, peer instructions 
the uh, games and challenges can be given okay so this can be uh, that they can form a group uh, teacher student student uh, uh, they can form a group and they can array uh, Uh, like uh, they can arise number of questions to you so they can actively participate in the class so these are all from some examples of the active learning coming to the integrated learning style that is active and passive learning can be integrated together that is uh, even active learning and passive learning appear to be polar uh, to be polar opposites uh, however they you can combine both styles to highlight the effectiveness and you can make the class easy enjoyable and stable and uh, that is how to integrate this active and pa passive learning is you you can give some assignment to the students at home and they will uh, do the assignments themes questions important quotes they will be doing at the home and at the at the start of the next class they will come to the class and they will self organize into small groups to share their ideas uh, for another example so also i can give you like you can make students to uh, think of some concepts at home and you can uh, make them to pair and share their views this is called as think pair share concept in education think pair share concept once again i'm repeating think pair share concept that is you can make them to think at home some concepts or some formula something then you make them to pair at class at the live class then you can make them to share their views uh, uh, before the other students or before the audience so students to learn in a more enjoyable and effective manner it's not only the students but also the teacher who need to know the right use for modern teaching aids in order to make that use worthwhile in a classroom this is i am saying that active learning uses the modern teaching aids but the teacher also know how to use the modern teaching aid he she has or he has to use in a proper way proper usage should be there it should not be uh, a bound, uh, it should not cross the boundary of the education uh, rules and regulation so they have to be uh, proper uh, in uh, making up the slides if you want to integrate both as active as well as passive learning you can integrate that depends on the teacher and also the college curriculum etc so coming to the teaching methods we have conventional uh, otherwise called as traditional te traditional teaching aids uh, non conventional or modern teaching aids this is a secondary class uh, second class is modern teaching aids non conventional one and uh, uh, the traditional teaching methods uh, when technology had not uh, appeared in the form as it is available today there was no electricity no computers internet even telephones the teacher made use of chalk and blackboard as a teaching uh, aid uh, the chalk and blackboard served as a standard teaching aid for so many years with gradual technology progress modern and non conventional teaching aids and resources becomes available to both teachers and students like computers personal computers laptops inter interactive whiteboards lcd projectors televisions tablets android phones accessories like usb cable etc a uh, world of opportunity like teaching aids games activities and medias are available to the students today ppt these have replaced transparency and overhead transparency pro projectors that is ohp projector this powerpoint has replaced this overhead projectors uh, the powerpoint presentation have been replaced the use of videos in classrooms so the examples of traditional teaching aids includes blackboards charts pictures posters maps atlas textbooks etc whereas the modern teaching aid uh, the your graphs audio visual aids uh, powerpoint um, online teaching etc uh, so the teaching style you can adopt 3d teaching style in your teaching methodology the 3d's are directing discussing delegating the directing implies that learning through listening and following directions when you are uh, in a practical class when you say that um you have to do this procedure you have to follow this step by step procedure and the students are doing and following your uh, instruction this is called as directing style discussing style it promotes learning through interaction this is group discussion so when you interact with your uh, other educators or other students of other college or your own students uh, you are interacting something uh, about the uh, topic 
then this is a discussing style delegating is you are giving power to someone uh, that is promotes learning through empowerment so 3d management tool is delegate discuss direct so high uh, high technology is delegate so uh, when when i learn from some fdp that is delegating style so uh, it goes high uh, delegate and low uh, technology is direct so in between is discuss so delegate discuss direct uh so teacher centered methods of instruction uh, no longer students are confined to learning within four walls so teachers approach should be different so here uh, you have direct instruction lower technology flipped classroom higher technology kinesthetic learning lower technology differentiated instructions lower technology inquiry based learning higher technology expository learning personalized learning uh, game based learning all this falls under higher technology so teacher centered methods of instructions are these things then um, you can teach the subjects uh, with different uh, with difference i'll give you a, a few example over an uh, over an above curriculum in the early phases of teaching career the reality is exam oriented system covering coverage of syllabus lack of interest effective ways of learning lack of practical relevance and delivery that is you want to cover the syllabus this is exam oriented system so all evaluation system in the indian scenario is exam based so students are evaluated through exams only the question paper serves as an important tool in the exam so the usually in the early phase it's exam oriented system now also we are facing the same thing but uh above the curriculum now we can go for self directed learning that is learning management system lms platform soyam you can learn on yourself from the swayam portal and moocs experiential learning like role plays problem based learning like case studies participatory learning like uh, entrepreneurship network carnivals health institutes and patient centric based learning like clinical postings assignments medication list product handling learning through projects and seminars so these are all the new way approach uh, when you go uh, discuss you are uh, with your students like self directed learning participatory learning etc so here uh, i'll give a example like when you are teaching to your b farm students uh, you can say them uh, uh, to write a definition classification uses dosage side effects Uh, contraindications mechanism all these things the same subject can be taught with a difference to increase the attention of a student to increase the uh, uh, interest in the minds of the students students can be oriented uh, oriented to work in hospital industry and also in the research institute based on their interest you can orient the students uh, to the a particular class like you can add patient instructions for each category and what is the therapeutic category of the drug for example nsaid what is the definition for nsaid what is the classification it has what is the use of that particular drug okay uh, then uh, pharmaceutics different uh, dosage forms uh, tablets what we teach uh, is uh, uh, different types of tablet what is the use of the particular tablet what is a polymer what is a technology involved and uh, how to use uh, the entry coated tablet whether it can be broken or you can crash um, crush and use it how to take the particular tablet so all these things can be added you can uh, make a little bit difference in the class and you also know a uh, 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 14 year old indian child got a package of 1 crore to work in the us uh, since he was an expert in ai all this because he started coding at the age of 7 plus children have amazing potential hidden potential so we need to give right platform to guide and perform so students particularly more sophisticated adults and teenagers need to feel that the materials from which they are learning have to be connected with the real world and at the same time they must be related positively to the aspects of the inner makeup such as age level of education social attitudes intellectual ability and level of emotional maturity so these are all few things which you can adopt in your curriculum and make the students to blend between online as well as offline teaching next comes your classification of av aids projected aid and non projected aids Uh, uh the projected aid is the projected visual aids are pictures shown upon a screen by the use of certain type of machines uh non projected aids are 
uh, those aids which are used without any projection so they can translate abstract ideas into a more realistic format they allow the instruction to move free uh, to move from verbal representation to a more concrete level uh, projected aid provides greater enjoyment in learning stimulates more rapid learning completes compels attention enlarges or reduces actual size of the objects so these are all few advantages and coming to the non projected aid abundant and are easily obtainable requires no electricity appropriate for low budget can be used in many ways at all levels of instruction and discipline many of them can be converted into projected aids non projected aid can be converted into projected aid and you can also uh, 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 use opaque projector for that so these are all examples that is projected aid opaque projector slides film strips overhead projectors um, slide projector uh, film strips etc non projected aids cartons charts comics diagrams flash cards graphs maps pictures posters models puppets specimens etc so teaching became as important tool of teaching uh, as uh, of teaching in the past that you could not think of classroom without a teacher standing at the blackboard with chalk in hand drawing diagrams pictures or writing the lesson notes on the blackboard which the students busy in copying the uh, notes from the blackboard to their uh, notes so earlier the teacher used to stand before the blackboard they she used to write a, a, a or draw a diagram or explain a picture or something the students are busy in copying that but the same uh, methods are continuing in most of the colleges but many colleges have changed to the more modern methods of teaching uh, the best used to uh, to make use of both traditional as well as modern methods of teaching so next classification is uh, as i said you have projected and non projected one more thing is also added in the uh, classification by other author that is active aid and another author also have added memory aid so in the non projected aid again they have classified into four one is graphic uh, graphic aids uh, display boards 3d aids audio aids uh, uh, graphic aids uh, for example graphs diagrams posters maps cartons etc and display boards you have peg board Uh, uh magnetic board etc and 3d aid you have objects specimens diseases um uh, puppets uh, etc and audio aids you have radio uh, tape recorder etc the activity aid you have aquarium uh, planetarium museum etc so these are all few classification um, for teaching learning aids and first comes your chart okay so here a chart is useful Uh, way to present and display information uh, or instruction especially in a classroom or other educational situation it can range in a size from a large wall chart to a single piece of paper you have different types of chart uh, a picture chart time chart table chart graph chart flow chart tree chart pie chart etc so you can see a different chart here like a tree chart time chart pie chart table chart flow chart so these are all different charts which we can use as a teaching aid in the class so this is a non projected teaching aid next comes your flash cards so flash cards uh, are set of cards uh, printed with uh, information to be studied so uh, you uh, the teacher uh, will show one after the other card that is you can write a question on the front side and you can write a answer on the back side of the flash card and it might be any words letters formulas definition for example in posology you can write uh, the question eng's formula so uh, they, they they you can ask them to tell about what is eng's formula in the back side you can write the, what is eng's formula is or you can write some rx what is rx back side you can write it's a, a prescription uh, some uh, uh, god okay got a recipe something you can write like that so uh, that that uh, that's your flash card and flash card and flip cards are another useful teaching aid used in small classes to teach vocabulary and important concepts and uh, these are all few flash cards and coming to the flip chart uh, the flip chart is earlier the flash card the card will not be bound together here you have it's like 
flip uh, that is flash card is one after the other card one after the other a4 paper like that when a4 paper are bind together it is a book like that the flip chart has bound together at the top so one after the other like calendar you can move one after the other once it is over the month uh, november month is over you can move uh, then uh, december month will come like that the flip chart like you can uh, move front and back okay so it consists of large page, pages which are bound together and it serves as a teaching aid so i i will also show some example of flip chart later on okay so when uh, when uh, textbooks are unavailable or when um, when there is expensive for individual to take their own copy you can use a flip chart uh, when uh, overhead projector slides are not available this flip chart serves as a very important good teaching aid so this is a main advantage of a flip chart so panel fa uh, board panel board is a piece of panel board Uh, that is a uh, felt made from a wool you can stretch tightly over a strong uh, backing of plywood pictures cards and similar materials can be made stick on it so you can see here uh, our blue chart from that you can uh, the different parts of the body stomach uh, lungs spine etc can be pasted and the next one which is which i am showing in the orange uh, color uh, one is uh, different types of shapes like pentagon triangular circular uh, different types of shapes so you can make them to uh, uh, stretch tightly over uh, from a uh, backing of plywood so this is a panel board this is uh, this serves as a teaching aid uh, then comes your model uh, so model you have models or replicas or copies of real object you you might have seen the uh, models in the organic chemistry lab okay so model might be a dynamic or static model or commercially uh, so many models are available you can also uh, guide your students to prepare their own models so clay models are very promptly seen in the um, teaching um, mainly in the schools okay no science lesson can be can set to complete unless uh, uh, children are shown the practical examples by conducting the science experiments in the lab or class with models Uh, the models of human body models of uh, uh, your shapes which serves as a important teaching aid for the students and you have uh, you can also visit to science museum uh, zoological parks and places of scientific importance will serves as a good teaching aids and leaves uh, flower seeds you can, you have seen uh, herbarium so the, this or you can take the students to the college herbal garden or nearby park to uh, know about the botanical knowledge of the students uh, to add the value still you can add more value okay uh, this serves as a, a living a teaching aid from the beginning that is when you take a students to the herbal garden or nearby park so uh, that is a living teaching aid for the students so you have different um, uh, classification of models like simplified scale working cross sectional and mock ups and here you can see a escalator working model one is a working model and one is a dynamic model um, static model that is a working model is escalator has been made as a model and food chain has been made as a static this can move but this cannot move so this is a static model and this is a dynamic model working model still model we can see and so uh, next uh, teaching aid in the non projected one is a globe a globe is a spherical model uh, of earth uh, you uh, the map atlas globes can be uh, you used uh, usually used to uh, know about the various geographical concepts but we have studied the geographical concepts in schools only but here in um, uh, in our college in pharmacy now the ipr okay the intellectual property right they we have got different types of ipr like patent trademark trade secret copyright uh, design geographical indications etc so the geographical indication you uh, that is nothing but you can connect a geographical area uh, along with the uh, product which is familiar in that area I'll, i'll show you now how to connect okay so this is a geographical indication where this is a indian map uh here here you can see that uh, salem fabric that is salem uh, fabric uh, kanjipuram silk sarees and mysore sandal soap mysore silk darjeeling tea so you can connect 
Darjeeling, where uh, the tea is famous, or Assam tea is famous, and um, uh, Kerala, you might be having pepper, uh, coconut tree is famous in your area. So you can connect the area where the product is more familiar. So uh, uh, by using this globe or atlas or map, you can connect where it is famous, and the students can present this way, then they can easily score the marks. So uh, this is about the graph. Next uh, teaching aid is graph. Here uh, you can uh, connect uh, uh, pictures by dots, uh, lines, etc. You have got uh, different uh, kinds of graphs like line, bar, circle, or pie pictorial. In the in the picture also you can see pie graph, bar diagram, line graph, um, uh, etc. Then you can show the statistics. You can uh, prepare a quantitative or qualitative graph or Use of statistics in uh, uh, pharmacy, uh, biostatistics, that is biological problem can be solved. And uh, mm, like most of the pharmacological data, whether it is significant or not, can be obtained from this uh, gra graphical representation, etc. And next comes your cartoons. Uh, cartoon. A cartoon uh, convey a message or point of view about things, even situations, make uh, free, make free use of exaggeration and symbolism. Here the teacher is explaining about the solid oral dosage form, about the tablet as well as the capsule in the particular slide. Okay, uh, next comes your uh, blackboards and chalks. So this is a um, uh, concept actually. Uh, blackboards are uh, uh, even, uh, blackboard nowadays has been changed to a green board. So, uh, but the basic function remains the same, whatever the color may be. So Blackboard is the older and most used teaching methodology, teaching aid in schools as well as in colleges, um, uh, uh, yeah, along with the textbooks early. So teacher, the Blackboard has been the most handy and useful tool of a teacher in the classroom. Uh, the teacher has to uh, take a white chalk to describe about the things on the blackboard. As I said, the teacher has to stand before the board and he she has to draw and she has to write. She has to explain about the picture and students usually they used to copy um, from the board uh, whether the teacher will erase before they copy. So you can use a color chop is to highlight something or to emphasize some important points. So these are all some blackboards and chalks advantages. Uh, so uh, the uh, cost is very uh, uh, low and it is not an um, expensive one and you can also wipe off whenever you want. It is a permanent one, no electricity charges, etc. So no burdens. So easily the educational institution can buy a black or uh, some other color board which is useful to the student. The board can be nowadays, uh, like early it may be a cement and mortar board. Now it can be replaced by a plastic fiber and glass material of today. So it is a very cheap material teaching aid where the ed any educational institution can afford. So next comes your textbooks. So textbooks is uh, early. We don't have any internet or uh, Google uh, or Facebook, something like Instagram, social media, etc. So we used to go to the library and we will, um, whatever the teacher teaches, we will take some notes from the textbooks and we will make uh, ourselves to understand. And teacher are, are sometimes asked to buy some textbook and we, uh, they will ask to mark some important lines, underline something. Uh, they will emphasize some points. We used to make it as a, a between um, in a bracket, we may, may, may highlight something using highlight or something. So uh, textbooks also saves as a you know, teaching aid early so, along with the dictionary, encyclopedia and other books of reference like IP, BP, etc. So uh, these are all uh, permanent uh, teaching aids for the students. And uh, next comes your mathematics. Mathematics, you have uh, abacus, you know that students are using uh, from time immemorial. Uh, for uh, numerous mathematical operations, even geometry boxes that comprises of compass, uh, protector, ruler, scales, etc., uh, which serves as a main aid for the students to learn about geometrical concepts. Uh, the teachers will have the same instruments made in large size to explain 
the sums in geometry to the students. You might have heard some colleges early, they have the engineering drawing. So mini drafter can be used so uh, as a tool for pharmacy graduates. So uh, earlier, uh, the mathematics, biostatistics, uh, nowadays also remedial mathematics, biostatistics are involved. So sometimes they may use compass, ruler, scales, etc., or uh, abacus or something uh, like a um, uh, learning tool like uh, ANOVA, um, ANOVA or some tools they may use for mean, median, mode, uh, uh, calculation, something. Uh, so uh, this ends your non-projected aids. Uh, move, now moving on to the projected aids. So projected aids, this, so far, whatever we have seen, like chalk, blackboard, uh, flashcards, all those things you cannot project. It is a non-projected aid. Now, moving on to the players, this is a uh, projected aid. So video cassette recorders, video cassette uh, players, these were all quite popular for some times. And CD, compact disc, DVD player, or next comes after the video cassette recorder. Then uh, we had now DVD players, overhead projectors, etc. But all these things, the DVD players are quite cheap, but the television set and overhead projector uh, are required to play, the, uh, uh, to play them. So even if you have a CD or DVD, but you need a computer or a television set or an overhead projector to play the C, uh, C, CD or DVD. So that is a disadvantage of this, demerits of this particular uh, aid, that is a teaching aid player. So to play them, it is costly. The electricity bill is also so costly. Coming to the next uh, projected aid, that is an overhead projector, you have a, a projects uh, transparency. Um, uh, you, you might have seen the transparency slides in the uh, top and you can see a market pen of different colors and you can write a six lines per transparency, six words per line, six mm smallest letter size and six centimeter margin, the three plus three on left and right sides. Teachers can write draw diagrams on a transparency sheets and project those transparency on an overhead projector standing before the students or sitting beside the projector, they can face the audience, eye to eye contact can be increased. So uh, uh, the teacher can write on their own, they can prepare early, instead of standing before the black and, uh, blackboard or chart, they can write in the overhead projector. So this may be there, but the disadvantages are again, electricity is required, you have to carefully handle the overhead projector, transparency sheet, as well as a bulb. After some time, the bulb may go off. You have to replace the bulb and you should have a good handwriting abilities to um, present before the audience. And it is a time consuming process. You have to write and write everything, whatever you are going to present before the students. And some jerk moments, whenever you were shifting one OHP projector from one classroom to the other classroom, because of jerking moment, the OHP projector may go down. So you cannot use it, use that. So that is a disadvantages of overhead projectors. Next comes the projectors. Um, uh, you have, a, this is a slide projector. First, what I'm showing is a slide projector. Uh, you have a small slides on the projector. You can see the second picture, which is a small slide. So it is not, it is not a moving picture. It is a slide, uh, still pictures only. You can use that picture, uh, that uh, particular slide into the projector and you can show the, slides still uh, still images to the students it may serve as a cheap teaching aid when compared to the digital electronic projector but when a digital uh, overhead projector are very costly uh, you have to you project uh, the light on the screen uh, liquid crystal display you might have heard tv with lcd uh, so the liquid crystal display it is costly you can run from several hundred years but it is costly so again, uh, for projecting uh, anything in the class, you need a computers or media players and uh, the projection length is limited. The disadvantage is projection length is limited. It consumes more electricity. The colleges has to bear the electricity bill and all colleges has to purchase the electronic projector. So most of the colleges are a few upcoming colleges are in between. They uh, they uh, mostly prefer the black and uh, blackboard teaching methodology. And coming to the PowerPoint, 
this is a most impo important educational tool used by teachers as well as by the students uh, you can prepare the slides and uh, uh, you can also include some games which serves as an important teaching uh, aid for the students you can enhance the teaching knowledge skill attitude uh, component of the students and uh, basic knowledge of you should uh, be aware of how to prepare the slide you should have a basic knowledge how to prepare how to make up the slides how to use the relevant subjects uh, whether you can you can go for uh, animations animated slides you can go for the zoom in zoom out options and you can include number numbers in the slide and you can give a hyperlink to the slides and the entire lesson can be incorporated into a powerpoint slide and you can use some sounds animation so that the, it will be interesting for the students the learner side it will be very interesting when they learn um, this works out maybe cheap but better than electronic smart board so the powerpoint is cheap when compared to the electronic smart board the different uh, you you can incorporate different learning style into the powerpoint so powerpoint is a very good uh, teaching tool for the students next comes your whiteboard you might have heard nowadays interactive electronic smart board so interactive electronic smart board always uh, you know that it is uh, touch sensitive you can wipe off something lot of investment uh, so on, it is not be, uh, becoming popular because smart board purchasing a uh, uh, smart board is costly heavy initial investment all cannot bear, bear and uh, every time you have to replace the uh, lamps uh, when you use for sometimes uh, some hundred hours if any you use you have to replace the uh, lamps electricity charges also more and uh, all colleges cannot uh, afford this uh, smart board so use of one or two smart boards in the college is uh, might might be there so a lot of investment so it is not uh, popular when compared to the powerpoint some companies supplying this white board like educom uh, smart boards make offers to the institution to pay on monthly basis for the equipment and also appoint the support staff for running the system they charge the institution monthly ranging from rupees 50 to rupees 100 per student depend upon the strength of the education institution here also the company do not apprise the education institution about the hidden cost so smart board or tech sensitive lot of investment is needed costly equipment all cannot afford this one so uh, it is a costlier equipment Next comes your computers and internet. Uh, computers uh, and internet are very important electronic resources that plays a central role in teaching learning process. So young, old uh, people, they can use computer. They are in the digital revolu uh, revolution, digital learning setup. Uh, so teacher can find suggestions, um, lesson plans, practical support, information materials through internet. Uh, teachers and students they can simply google out what they can find out and especially designed online uh, class like can be accessed on ugc e patsala or moocs use of computers require a lot of electricity and you can uh, also participate in webinar web seminars websites you can browse websites electronic mails um, you can mail to others to uh, ask uh, to if you have any uh, doubts you can discuss online video sessions so computers are very useful tool uh, modern teaching aid next comes your multimedia so multimedia combines uh, all these things like text graph uh, sound video animations etc so here uh, the online streaming can be done um, that is live streaming you might have heard youtube live streaming even marriages they now they have are going for youtube live streaming or some conferences seminars live stream can be adopted by mixing up this graph video sound animations etc so this uh, multimedia enable the students to learn more from any location either it may be a synchronized or non-synchronized that is um, uh, synchronized is uh, when i'm presenting two to four students also will be on online uh, between two to four 
but uh, this may be a recorded section so they may not be present at that particular time they may have other work so uh, later on they can browse this uh, thing and they can uh, go through the entire slides they can run through the slides so that is called as asynchronous learning so that may be uh, possible in the multimedia mode of teaching uh, so you have facebooks you youtubes etc instagrams next comes your online picture talking uh, dictionaries so uh, free online dictionaries free online encyclopedia uh, talking talking dictionaries are available many websites online text for practices even for g part or um, that is uh, to get into m farm you can uh, uh, take some g part online free test through uh, internet and websites uh, will uh, enhance the learning of the young learners and internet uh, is a, a multitude of opportunity through thousands of website for the learners many students are become uh, becoming internet friendly now so i am showing few examples so this is a flip cha flip uh, uh, chart we are uh, the test card we have um, discussed early as in the non projected aids so uh, for example you want to introduce a science, you might uh, be taking microbiology or something you might uh, you want to describe about a scientist or some author so you can use like calendar uh, his photograph you can paste there and uh, who is he like father of indian pharmacy education so he is born in march 6th and um, he, his name is mahadev lal sharaf Uh, March sixth, nineteen or two to August twenty fifth, nineteen seventy one. So he did his masters and bachelors in pharmaceutical sciences. He edited the first Indian Journal of Pharmacy, first vice president of Pharmacy Council of India, formed the Indian Pharmaceutical Congress Association. Like this, one after the other, like calendar, you can move on. You can move about the scientist. When you talk something about history or geography, the people will not listen to you. Or when you talk about some author, they will they may not be interested. Now they are twenty first. century kids they may not be interested when you use a flash card or something different teaching aids they may be interested you can uh, uh, grab their attention more you can catch up the students very well so next comes connecting the pictures and identifying with respect to the clue given below so clue is light source used in calorimeter okay i am just giving you uh, two pictures uh, can any one of you in the forum can connect this and can can you give me the answer can any one of you can am i audible am i audible am i audible yes sir any anyone can give me the answer thanks ten yes good uh, that is from dr l srinivasan to everyone so uh, thanks ten so light source used in calorimetry next uh, next you can connect these two pictures sweet viscous homogeneous liquid preparations okay sweet viscous very easy uh, sweet viscous uh, homogeneous liquid preparation anybody in the forum anybody in the forum participating faculty participating asirap uh, yes uh, that is from uh, uh, Udavir Singh and also from Manasi, uh, thank you, thank you so much for your active participation in the connecting pictures. So you can connect pictures and you can make the students uh, to participate. Uh, so next comes this uh, history of uh, microbiology. Like uh, you can uh, divide into two columns, like. who uh, what is uh, author like who is a scientist robert koch discovery of anth anthrax so you can make like this tabular column so fleming involved in penicillin discovery so like that you can make uh, divide the tabular column into two you, you not only you should use some teaching aid like chalk board something you can make the powerpoint in a in a attractive manner where uh, you can uh, discuss something in the microbiology like for example fleming connected with uh, 
penicillin watts and crick connected with dna structure like that and next comes your microorganism for example uh, the uh, carnarium bacteria diphtheri connected to the uh, diphtheria disease uh, then comes your uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis which is connected to the tuberculosis so in the microbiology you can also use this uh, mode of teaching and uh, in case of um, Uh, as uh, i am a since i am a pharmaceutical staffs i am using few pharmaceutical slides where, uh, uh, whatever i am using in the class i am just using it so the dt is disintegration time limit as per pharmacopia so you have different types of tablets in the first column you have different types of medium in the second column you have different types of temperature in the third column and limits in the minutes so uncoated tablet you have to use water or buffer 37 plus or minus 2 degrees celsius for 15 minutes and flim coated tablet you have to use water and the temperature is 37 plus or minus 2 degrees celsius 30 minutes so these are all few things uh, which you can easily make the students to attract they can easily learn even if you give multiple choice question what is the limit for uncoated tablets so they can easily read from the stapler column even for the uh, gpad preparation it might be useful for them and few examples for uh, chemistry is uh, analytical techniques that is uv spectrophotometry the light sources what is a light source and what is a detector what is a reference standard what is a sample type and what is a uh, graph uh, absorbance versus concentration is a graph whereas for the infrared spectroscopy the graph is between percentage transmittance versus wave number like this you can uh, uh, make a table or column for each and everything like uv ir nmr a mass spectrophotometry easy for them to read the uh, in a, uh, when when they are reading at last at last moment uh, well, this table or column will help the students to present uh, the in the test very uh, effectively so in cognacy uh, you have a drug official source what is adulteration um so what is the name of the drug and what is the source of the drug biological source of the drug and what is the adulteration where from the source of adulteration has come into the drug so this can be given as a teaching uh, material okay so this is a clipping which is pasted by a doctor in his opd so you can see uh, uh, later here so using steps suppose if you use a steps okay when you climb up the steps suppose when you use a step you will be health and energetic so this is a usual uh, snake and ladder game uh, you you might have uh, heard from you might have used you might have heard from the childhood okay so uh, when this area comes that is when 56 comes the smoking the smoking causes risk of cancer so this is a big uh, snake okay so smoking leads to risk of cancer so uh, next comes here uh, regular uh, workout okay so free of common diseases so the ladder so regular workout you can climb up the ladder whereas in case of your fat waste okay so uh, it re- it leads to weak heart uh, undisciplined daily routine very important for many of them undisciplined ra- daily routine leads to increase in fat and weight okay so uh, by this means of teaching aid you can explain you can um uh, explain more things uh, p- p- pathophysiology uh, something okay to the students they also will be interesting to learn this concept uh, the c- concepts will be easier for them to learn uh, okay more fiber in food so sugar and cholesterol will be in control so all these things this is a wallpaper which is posted by a doctor i have received so you can also zoom uh, out or to learn more concepts and you can prepare your own like uh, suppose you are specialized in uh, chemistry or cognacy you can prepare your uh, own clippings like uh, uh, snake and ladder you can prepare on your own about the advantage and disadvantages of that thing and uh, next clipping is um, stevens johnson uh, syndrome causing drug trick is b salt that is uh, you, you if you if if you say b salt that is bisacodyl um, sulfonamides allopurinol lamotrigine and thiazetosone so the b salt is a trick to them so you please be different to differentiate yourself from others uh, because the golden egg means they laugh at me because i am different i laugh at them because they are all the same so you please be different to differentiate yourself from others while you are taking a class so next clipping is net netflix does not cost uh, 17.99 dollar it cost your time 
McDonald's, a Big Mac does not cost uh, dollar of uh, three point nine nine. It cost your health. Social media is not free. It cost your focus. That is anything WhatsApp, Instagram, anything. It cost your focus. You you are focusing on that. What what next comes? What what WhatsApp text message I have received. So there is always a hidden cost when you use a, a modern teaching uh, aids, social media. So uh, when I am preparing for this lecture, I have come across this research article that is a comparison of two teaching aid, whatever which is given to me. That is PowerPoint versus chalkboard. Chalkboard in a undergraduate anatomy teaching. This particular uh, research article has come this year only. That is, twenty twenty one only in the journal International Journal of Anatomy and Research. So, uh, this has been prepared in India only uh, uh, from a government medical college in Himachal Pradesh. So, they have a few questions and uh, uh, whether chalkboard they have compared the chalkboard and PowerPoint presentation. That is online and offline presentation they have compared and presented as a. article in the international journal of anatomy and research so this is this year only 2021 only next comes this is not a new technology that is a problems and this possibilities for the teaching aid uh, that this is a french review volume 27 number 6 issue number 6 may 1954 itself this this is published by the american association of teachers of french this is uh, you if you browse this particular link you can get this particular teaching aids problems and possibilities which is uh, drafted by uh, daniel p girard he is at uh, in uh, from a columbia university teachers college so what is the uh, merits and demerits of using the teaching aid so this uh, particular french review also helps me to present before you uh, this teaching aid use and overuse Uh, so uh, this is not a new one like 2021 concept as i have mentioned early it is it is coming from 1954 onwards okay um, so this is a research project which i have under uh, undertaken so uh, the project is comparative smack analysis of pharmacy education curriculum through likert scale survey uh, the name of the funding agency is our chancellor summer research fellowship for the ug students so the ug student is aishwarya margabandhu my, myself is supervisor my, myself is a uh, guide for the particular project and uh, we have received a amount of 10000 and the sanction letter number is file number 53 it is in the year 2018 the date of commencement of the project it is a summer project so may june uh, is a month and uh, status of the project is now completed the outcome of the project she has presented in oral presentation one uh, international app conference and the other in the Uh, 71st IPC con uh, Congress and publication is under pipeline. And even for this pharmacy education curriculum, even the education teaching aid is really involved in education. So we have got an in uh, our university has got a very good medical education unit. It is serving as a nodal center for the entire uh, nation across the nation, and uh, they have got uh, under uh, the health uh, professional education unit, uh, pharmacy education, nursing education, uh, allied. health education unit or functioning and under pharmacy education uh, we have a curriculum education fdp committee a pharmacy education unit etc so we uh, even for education when you are taking up a survey you have to get a ethical permission committee from the institution so in, uh, i have got a institution ethics permit permission committee with, uh, uh, from the uh, ethics committee to compare the uh, uh, P pci syllabus with the early syllabus so uh, the project has been completed and she has got a two uh, presentation certificate from this uh, project and uh, Uh, that is for the B form uh, one, and I said you can use a different methodology to enhance the knowledge. So uh, I've taken a pharmaceutical formulation for PharmD students uh, for the nearly past past four five years. So here also now uh, uh, the game based. use of gamification tool as a strategy in teaching formulation pharmaceutical formulation so gamification tool so gamification tool can be used as a teaching aid for teaching pharmaceutical formulation so i have taken for four years from that uh, out of my interest so i have taken few game if um, gamification tool during my lecture for uh, teaching pharmd students pharmaceutical formulation third year so now uh, again we have made a, uh, one student name is ranjit he is from kerala only 
so he is very interested to take this as a project this is a self funded project and now we have applied for a funding uh, for this project and he has also appeared for the ethics committee and the ethics committee asked to initiate the study you can see the bold letters here uh, you are required to inform the institution ethics committee when the study is initiated because we have completed the pilot study the pilot study has been submitted to the ethics committee Uh, during ethics committee presentation and he uh, he has cleared the ethics committee uh, questioners and uh, now uh, it has been, the ethics committee has given approval for uh, doing this particular uh, project that is use of gamification tool gamification tool involves most teaching aiding aid tools in teaching pharmaceutical formulation so the sample size is 100 number this project is in progress and we we are uh, almost it is in the completion stage we have to compile the results as well as the report we have to submit to the uh, uh, university as well as to the ethics committee so this is a self funded project uh, uh, by some way i have been connected to the uh, this particular teaching aid use and over use so i i i am not uh, like what i am i don't want to say but you can also do uh, out of from your core area if you are really interested in pharmacy education so you can also do some projects where we can highlight our pharmacy some somewhere in some forum whereby we we also get equal rights along with doctors so this is another paper publication so by me along with uh, neha jayeshwal she is a uh, mpharm graduate in pharmaceutics and uh, ram narayanan and rohit jain is uh, currently pursuing the mpharm project this is a review on virtual classroom again it is connected to the uh, teaching aid only but before the corona itself we have submitted the uh, article to the indian journal of pharmaceutical education and research and the revision date is in the during the corona period we have received the revision and it is accepted and it is now published in july 2020 so before corona itself somehow it came to my mind that uh, we can go for a review on virtual classroom that is synchronized and non synchronized learning online teaching offline teaching digital learning real time uh, learning we can go for we can write the article so the students are also interested to take up the particular uh, project and they have uh, uh, drafted the article and uh, we all, all four have been involved uh, uh, properly in re reviewing uh, in drafting this article and we have submitted on time before that is uh, corona and some of uh, the corona la like this particular article is useful to many of them and many of them contacted me because of this article uh, so i am also very proud of my students neha jayeswal uh, ram narayanan and rohit jain uh, god blesses the students so this is a web of science indexed journal and conclusion is with uh, technology progress and advancement advancement there are large number of modern and non conventional teaching aids are available to both teachers and students and play an important role in teaching learning process today teaching aids or tools used by the teachers to supplement classroom teaching and explains the concepts to the learners they have made the teachers or facilitator task both enjoyable as well as challenging it is said that teaching is one fourth preparation and three, three fourth is theater teaching aids are aids available and acts like prop that add more meaning to the classes the biggest drawback is to the use of modern teaching aids is the investment cost and any technological equipments needs to be maintained that is teaching aid modern teaching aid they charge more electricity charges many uh, need to be maintained invest cost it is more they cannot replace the teacher by any means i have highlighted with red color so each student is different that is either it may be a active learner or a passive learner so you cannot neglect a active learner or you cannot align a passive learner you cannot neglect a passive learner you, you have to engage both of them so you have to prepare a aid which engages both uh, both passive learners as well as active learner and each students has got a different way of understanding and engaging with the new information so the teacher's role is to play in uh, important role uh, in uh, in preparing both passive learners as well as active learner to the next uh, level so blended learning can be the best of both worlds though a significant undertaking once implemented uh, successfully such a problem um, such a program has a, 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 a very useful for the organization as well as employers uh, teacher should uh, be 
selective in choosing teaching aids relevant to the lessons and subjects they teach so guru shishya parampara guru shishya parampara should be maintained even with the modern way of teaching even when you are teaching online teaching guru shishya parampara should be maintained so uh, i just want to conclude we cannot substitute conventional teaching methodology but we can supplement make learning beyond classroom so our raw material is our uh, for us is students so convert raw students into competent professionally interested qualified passionate future pharmacists so it is a supplement to classroom uh, teaching not a substitute to um, in person teaching so the virtual ca uh, classroom cannot replace the traditional classroom at any cost technology cannot replace teachers role in class out campus learning can never replace in campus experience so that is my conclusion so one picture is worth a thousand words uh, this is a famous quote so they make learning realistic permanent natural and easy so thanks if any question from the audience i am ready to uh, answer for that thank you thanks for the given opportunity thank you very much ma'am yes yes audience are open audience any questions please <laughs> Now, oh, all the participants. Now, oh, okay. if you have any question, you can ask it yourself. Also, the chat box also. Okay, thank you so much. I think there are no questions from audience, and the participants are not asking. They are not. I am checking the chat box also now. I can check the YouTube also now. Uh, okay, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you for the wonderful lecture and wonderful presentation. Thank you. I hope I have uh, fulfilled your norms. Yeah, and... definitely, <laughs> definitely, ma'am. Definitely, ma'am. Thank you. It's thank it's more than enough. Thank, thank, you so you, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the given opportunity. Thanks, sir. Can I leave? Yeah, sure, ma'am. Sure, sure, sure. Thank you so much. Participants, please note that uh, tomorrow the event uh, will start at nine thirty a.m. The schedule will be posted in the WhatsApp group. Our feedback link also will be posted in the WhatsApp group. Thank you. Thank you so much for patient listening. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for your wonderful lecture. Thank you. All.